So this is one of the most popular American coins of the 20th century. The 1937 uh, 1937D Buffalo Nickel. They minted almost 18 million. And this is the special one. This is the three-legged variety on the reverse. So this is a kind of high-end uh, AU or lower-end uncirculated piece. And here is the reverse. So you can see this piece has um, maybe a little bit of light rub on the highest points, but uh, still has some most of it's kind of very soft mint luster. These weren't particularly lustrous coins when they were first produced, so don't expect it to kind of look like a uh, giant headlight in terms of um, all the luster that you'd see. But uh, these are one of the most popular coins in the Buffalo Nickel series and in 20th century American coins altogether. And the three-legged variety comes from uh, a process of over-polishing the die. So um, in between production runs of coins, mint workers would um, actually polish the dies to remove small die cracks that were um, causing uh, fatigue in the metal and to um, pretty much prolong the length of the coin die. And each time you do that, you actually remove a little bit of the design every time you do a polish. And um, in the case of the 37D uh, three-legged, they um, polished it just much longer and much harder than they should have and actually entirely removed one of the legs uh, off the buffalo. Now you can see that um, there's some other telltale traits uh, of, die, of over die polishing which show up here. Um, the back of the uh, bison's back leg, the one that is in the background, not the foreground leg, is also almost entirely polished away. And also the spacing between the bison and E pluribus unum is also much wider than you'd see on a normal uh, buffalo nickel because as they polished it away, they increased the gap between the bison and E pluribus unum because they were um, actually removing metal off the die. So that's a little bit of behind what led to the 37D uh, three-legged. It's one of the most popular coins in the Buffalo Nickel series.